Merci. Quite good news to me. We are very happy to inform you that you will be able to take antiretroviral therapy, or otherwise known as ARVs, to treat HIV AIDS. What I need to go through with you today is adherence to taking these drugs. Adherence? Doctor, does that mean the pills have to stick to my body? <laughs> no, 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 to me. I know it's a funny word. But in this case, adherence means taking your drugs every single day at the right time, according to your doctor's instructions. But why is adherence so important? <laughs> it's a very good question, dude. Let's go into the body to see what happens with HIV and ARVs. Your body's immune system, or Amasocha Omzimba, is an army of soldier cells that guard your body from sicknesses like HIV. But HIV is a particularly bad sickness because it not only fights your body, it also fights CD4 soldier cells. HIV is like a poisonous snake, sneaking up to the CD4 soldiers while they are sleeping and killing them. These snakes are small and hide so the soldiers cannot find them to fight them. The snakes also breed very quickly, multiplying until they overwhelm the CD4 soldiers and the body becomes very ill. This is where ARVs come in. ARVs can prevent the multiplication of the HIV virus. It is as if the body soldiers could find the HIV snake nests and pour drugs on the snake eggs to keep the eggs from hatching. However, ARVs are a kind of drug that only works for a limited amount of time. They must be taken every day, in the morning and the evening, otherwise the HIV virus has a chance to reproduce itself. Why is this? Why do I have to take them every day? What if I forget? No. Do you see, every day you forget means that the HIV virus has a chance to multiply it. Let's say one day you don't take your ARVs. Now the soldiers have no drugs to pour on the snake eggs. The HIV virus begins to multiply. The snake eggs hatch and many more snakes come to attack the soldiers. If you now take your ARVs, the soldiers will again be able to drug the HIV snake eggs. But the problem is that some of the new snakes that hatched will be different from their mothers. One snake might be longer, another might lay eggs with spots, and another might lay eggs with a thicker shell. Now the soldiers go to pour ARV drugs on these eggs, but the thick shell keeps it from killing the baby snake. The eggs hatch, and the new snakes begin to lay more eggs, which also have a thicker shell. Soon, the ARV drug is useless against the HIV snake eggs. This is what we call resistance. It means that the HIV virus has changed, like the snake that lays thick-shelled eggs, so that it cannot be controlled by ARV drugs. Every time you forget your ARVs, the HIV virus has a chance to multiply. Some of the new HIV viruses might be able to resist ARVs, like the snake with thick-shelled eggs. This is why you must take your drugs every single day at the same time, even if you feel better. ARVs can control HIV only until the virus develops resistance, which can happen any time you decide not to take these drugs. And you must never let this happen. You say this, doctor, but I've heard people say that ARVs can make you feel very bad. You're right, Dumi. Taking ARVs properly is not easy. They often have side effects, which means that sometimes your body can feel unpleasant in the first few weeks after taking the ARVs because your body is getting used to the medication. Sometimes people have problems taking them because they may feel sick to their stomach, dizzy or even constipated. But most of the time, these side effects go away as your body gets used to the medications. The important thing to remember is to come and see me if you feel that these ARVs are making you ill. Hmm. Does that mean if I'm feeling healthy, I don't have to take the pills? Not at all. You see, some people say, oh, I feel good today, I don't need to take it. But it isn't true, because it is in fact the ARVs that are making them feel that way. ARVs are not like Panada. You just don't stop taking them when you feel better. The HIV virus needs to be defended against every day.
This is a story of two people, Joseph and Hope. Joseph is a laborer. Hope is a domestic servant. Both are HIV positive. One day, Hope walks into Paraguanath Hospital to meet with her doctor. He tells her that she qualifies to begin receiving ARV drugs to combat HIV. He gives her a prescription and explains which drugs to take when. One thing is particularly important, he says. She must always remember to take the drugs. If she forgets, the virus can develop resistance and the drugs will not work. She listens carefully. Once the meeting is over, she picks up her drugs at the pharmacy. A few minutes later, Joseph walks in. He meets with the same doctor and is told that he also qualifies for ARVs. He listens to the same speech about adherence and goes to the same pharmacist to pick up his drugs. Hope gets back to her house. She tells her brother about her new drugs and that she needs to take them every day. She sets them by her toothbrush where she will see them when she wakes up in the morning. Joseph is about to walk into his house. When he realizes that his mother will see his drugs, he looks into the house to see if his mother is watching and then puts the pills into his pocket. Then he enters the house and hides the drugs in a bag under his bed so no one will see them. The next morning, Hope's brother gives her a glass of water and Hope takes her first dose at 7. Joseph makes sure his mother isn't nearby, takes his drugs out of the bag and takes his first dose at 8. They both take their drugs that evening, 12 hours later. The next morning, Hope is in a rush to get to work. She's about to head out of the door, but her brother reminds her to take her drugs. She does. Two days later, Joseph is also in a rush. He walks past his mother and out the door, forgetting his drugs. Inside his blood, the HIV virus is now able to reproduce rapidly. And it does. It kills many of his CD4 soldier cells. It doesn't stop until Joseph takes his drugs that evening. That weekend, Hope is invited to a party. Before she leaves the house, she picks up a dose of her drugs and puts it into a special pill box because she knows she won't come back until late at night. When Joseph's friends come by to pick him up, he doesn't bother with the drugs. After all, he'll probably be back in time to take them, right? Wrong! The HIV virus multiplies again and it doesn't stop until the next morning when he takes his pills.